Excuse me, excuse me. Do you know why we pulled you over today? Do you know why? Exactly. It's because you're not subscribed to the channel. So you either fix that right now, or we're gonna have to take you in. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the one, the only, First Click Show. You are tuned in to the only Apple News show on YouTube with Dark Mode. Let's get it. Okay, so today we actually have multiple episodes. This one is about the iPads and the MacBook Air, and there will be another one talking about the MacBook Pro and the larger iMac that is hopefully coming out later this year. At the end of the video, you will see a little card and you can switch right over to that episode. For now, let's talk about iPads. With the first story coming in from Karina from Funpage Tech. According to Minchi Quo, both the 11 inch iPad and 12.9 inch iPad next year will receive the mini LED update. According to the report from Minchi Quo, the rumors that we heard earlier about an OLED iPad launching next year probably isn't true. According to the most recent investor note by analyst Minchi Quo, rather than Apple limiting a mini LED display to the higher end 12.9 inch iPad Pro, the Cupertino based company plans to make the new display technology available on the smaller 11 inch iPad Pro next year as well. This was first reported by Mac Rumors and 9to5Mac. In the investor note obtained by Mac Rumors yesterday, Quo stated that alongside the new MacBook Air featuring mini LED display next year, Apple is reportedly also planning to bring the display technology to both the 11 inch and 12.9 inch iPad Pro. Apple first debuted mini LED displays this past April in the high end 12.9 inch iPad Pro, but excluded the new display technology on the 11 inch iPad Pro. Now this is obviously great news for everyone that was waiting on the smaller form factor to get the update to uh, mini LED, because for sure this size is obviously closer to the one that Steve announced originally. And he obviously labeled that size the best size for the iPad. So for sure there is a huge fan base there uh, for that format and I can completely understand that loads of people are waiting for it so and uh, next year will be your chance to pick one up according to Minchi Quo some more iPad news then this second story coming in from Apple Insider iPad mini 6 set for fall launch. Now obviously the iPad mini has been a little bit forgotten or at least didn't get much attention from Apple for a really long time. And now we're expecting the full redesign, like the flat redesign from the iPad Pro from 2018 to finally arrive on the iPad mini 6. A refreshed iPad mini with an updated design is reportedly arriving in the fall of 2021. On his weekly Power On newsletter for Bloomberg, Mark Gurman claims the iPad mini should be a go for launch in the fall in what is billed to be the biggest redesign in the nine year history of the device. Gurman sources claim it will be similar to the alterations made to the iPad Air. Now, obviously, we all had the previous rumors of the schematics and all the things that were leaked, right? Uh, even pictures of dummy devices uh, for the iPad mini 6. Uh, so, yeah, they're going to tan of snap all the bezels away. Even the home button is finally going to be removed on the iPad mini. And probably there will be something like Touch ID in the power button on the side. Something like the iPad Air, obviously, like we all expect. But uh, it's definitely good to get that treatment for the iPad mini since it looked a little bit dated. And then our last stories for today, obviously about the MacBook Air, going back to front page tech with the third story of today. Remember the colorful MacBook Air we leaked? Here is when it's coming. Fresh rumor from leaker hints at possible time frame for the next major redesigned MacBook Air. Now this report is covering a leak from Dylan Dikite, and according to Apple Track, he has a 81.3% accuracy on his Apple leaks. So, I mean, in a tweet posted this week by Dylan Dikite, a leaker with a recently established track record of 81.3% according to appletrack.com, says we can now expect Apple's next gen M2 processor to release in the first half of 2022 alongside upcoming colorful MacBook Airs as the M1X will be reserved for the Pro Mac devices. So this is a very interesting time frame. Maybe there is going to be another uh, April event, April spring event. I don't know how they're going to call it, but um, it is definitely interesting to see that uh, Apple is moving to a model where every single like quarter of the, the, the year, we're going to get new Macs and, um, or well, allegedly, that is, like really interesting right like at the beginning of the year at the end of the year some people say in the middle of the year 
Wow. I mean, I'm definitely excited for what is coming, right? But um, is it going to be something that every single like quarter or few months we're going to get a new Mac? Is that like wise? I'm not too sure. I mean, maybe at the beginning of the year, at the end of the year, like this year was pretty good, right? But if we're going to get refreshes every single few months, I don't know. I don't know if that's going to work, but um, it is definitely exciting for people in the tech space like us. In another report, also from Front Page Tank, there is another little tidbit about the displays of the MacBook Air. Quote's latest report also mentioned that Apple wants to adopt the same technology in the next generation MacBook Air, talking about mini LED. However, that should only be announced sometime in 2022. This is lining up with an earlier report we covered by Twitter user Dylan Dikite that said the new MacBook Air will likely be the first with an M2 chip, not the M1X, which will have a more advanced GPU focused on the Pro lineup. So there you have it, a bunch of, well, very reliable leakers saying that this is going to be the case. Now, obviously, like our disclaimer in the front of every video, these are rumors and might never get any substance to them. Like Apple might never confirm any of this to be true, but it seems hopeful since so many people with such a reputation on being right say that this is going to happen. Anyways, for now guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And obviously the card that I promised is right here. You can click here right now and go to the other stories about the M1X MacBook Pro and the M1X iMac, iMac Pro, we don't know yet. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, and for now, <laughs> click on.